Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel Netflix. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you that uh, how you can traverse, how you can use different fun traversing function in jQuery. Uh, in my earlier videos, I, I have told you about like uh, various animation functions and various uh, remove class and add class functions. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about traversing in jQuery. So uh one gentle reminder that if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel and do like and share my videos so moving to the video part so there are various function in uh, traversing function in jquery i have made a simple uh, a layout uh, like there are the function names traversing function name like first last eq filter not children find parent and siblings next previous previous and previous until so these are all traversing functions uh, one by one i will be just uh, do a coding for that and will explain you with the example that what are its uses and how you can implement it into your project so uh, here i have made a few buttons i have like uh, implemented a title as traversing in jquery then i have given a style uh, i have created a buttons a few buttons traversing buttons these are uh, like displayed in the single line and uh, in the next i have created a ul uh, in which i have created a five lis that has been that i that is being displayed over here and to the list three to the third li i have assigned a class as t and below that i have created a diff that has a class main div and in that i have written a main parent text and in that in main div i have created an, an another div with the class inner div and in that inner div, I have created a span class with inner span and I have written a span text in that. So this is my layout that I have been mentioned over here. So I can just put here as break tag so that it look nice. So uh, to the list, I have given a menu. I have given a list font family as Arial font size 15 pixel background color red color white padding 20 pixels. So it has a space of 20 pixels from left, right and bottom left top and bottom and i have given a border as solid one pixel i can just make it two pixel in order to increase its thickness and i have given the color of border to white so uh, i have embedded a jquery in this and uh, uh, this is a function so i will start my coding with the first button so the first is a class that I have given to my first button and I'm going to use this traversing method first. I will give you a demonstration about this. So first a function will be called and what it will be doing is it will be alerting what it will be alerting. I can just alert. I have a menu menu class given to my UL and I need to check its first element. So menu li dot first dot text so what does this function do this will alert me the menu uh, the first li of menu ul the first li of menu ul with the help of first method and its text will be displayed so let's see its output so list one has been displayed because i have what i have alerted is menu so this is a menu and li so this is an li uh, which one li it will be picking the first element the, this is a jquery method first so first li, li it will be picking up and its text will be displayed so it its text is right now list one so list one has been displayed and now implementing the second traversing function that is the last function so to the last tag to the last uh, i have given a class as last so menu dot li dot last dot text so if i'm going to refresh this list five this is the last element of the list so it is being displayed with the help of menu li dot last method moving to the eq method uh, basically eq is used to pick any element uh, based upon index so for example menu li dot eq so in eq you can specify the index uh, like if i have specified here two so it is picking up the third element because the list is always list always start from zero index so this is a zero this is one and this is two so list three element third element has been printed if i uh, if i do here as zero so eq 
then list one will be printed. Moving to the next part, after EQ, there is a filter. So how filter is been implemented? I can use as filter and EQ, and I can use here as filter. For example, if I need to pick up the element that have a class T on it. So I want a list that has class as T. I want to pick its text. So I can use here as menu. In the menu, uh, I can go in li. In li, there are multi number of multiple number of li. In li, there will be there a filter will be applied in on which li the class T will be existing. That text will be picked. So if I'm going to refresh this uh, filter uh, slash t dot t text uh, it's menu li dot filter dot t and the text element. So I think uh, I have uh, misspelled my uh, class name. So it's filter. So if I'm going to refresh this uh, list three will be printed. So moving to the next part, the not function. So not function will picking up my not. So it will find the menu with li and which is not having the t class in it means menu with li that is not having the t class means all the li which are not having the class t will be picked over here. So if I'm going to refresh this, not so list one, two, four and five because uh, three is having a class of T. So it is not being picked up. Then moving to the next part. So uh, we have implemented a not tag. So the menu with li <coughs> that is not having the class T. So it's menu, it's li that is not having a class T uh, will all be picked up. So list one, two, four, five. So here, if I am going to see that uh, not. So list one, two, four, five is being picked up. So next to the children part, uh, the child, child is a class which I have given to the button and menu li dot children. So all the children will be picked up means the menu class and the li. Uh, we, we don't have to write li over here. So menu dot children dot text. So if I'm going to click on a children, all the children's of menu will be picked up. So li is all its children. So it has picked up all the children regardless whichever class has been implemented over li or not. So moving to the next part. Uh, we have to find uh, implement the find. So find menu dot find uh, it should be dot t so list three because it will be finding the men in the menu tag in the menu class it will be finding the li which is uh, or any tag which will be having the class t in it so that text will be displayed so moving to the next part uh, it's parent so so this uh, I can use here as uh, I can just copy this. So it's parent. So parent. So I can use here as inner span dot parent dot CSS dot color red. So parent is my class given to the button and uh, on clicking on this button it will be picking up inner span so inner span is a class which i have given to span span this one span text so it will be picking the parent of a span text the parent is uh, immediate parent is inner division so inner parent text and the span text will be becoming red so if i'm going to click on parent so inner parent text and span text has become red because uh, I have referred to the inner span. The inner span is this one and its parent is right. It's above parent is inner. So it has just changed its color to inner parent text. So moving to the next part, there's a parents. So 
parents we can just define as parents parents so i am going to just refresh this so i have given parents dot click inner span so inner span is this one uh, it's all parents it's all parents means it's up till the last parent so up till the last parent it has changed the color to red so every color every parent color is being changed because we have implemented here the parents function parent function will only change the color of uh, the uppermost le uh, the above level means one level above and the parents will change the color of all the level above so this is basically the difference between parent and parents so next is your parents uh, until so if i am going to implement parents until then i can give here as so next i am going to implement uh, the tag parents until so the parent until will display uh, i can specify here as uh, inner span dot parents until is your uh, in the capital case a u is in your capital case so i can specify here as the last parent to which i can change its property so i want to change its property till inner div so inner span inner span is this one and uh, parents until parents until means uh, like i have to change the property of parents until it is in it until the inner div in parent tag specifies so dot css color red so if i'm going to refresh this it's a uh, parent until inner span it's parent u then parents until in a division dot css dot color red uh, so uh, we can type here we can like give here the tag as main red uh, so parent until the main red so inner span inner span is your this one and uh, i have said that parents until main div main div is this one so this all one will be changing its to color red so if i'm going to refresh this so up till parent up till main div so whatever the children inside the main div will be whatever the children inside the main div will be that all color will be changes to color red so this is the property of parents until means you can specify up to which level you can change uh, you have to change the property then comes your next part as siblings so i can say here siblings are basically the brother and sister so here if i have to pick up alert i can just pick uh, my class li with class t and slash t dot siblings dot text so I'm going to click here so all its siblings are being displayed like the class has been given to uh, list three so list three siblings are its upper and its lower so list one and list two are the siblings and list four and list five are the siblings so that all siblings are being picked up so next come the next so next dot i can specify here as next dot text so next like uh, the t class has been given to your uh, ally ally with list three so its next part is list four so that has been print up and moving to the next part next all so next all will specify it's a case sensitive so next all will print all the siblings with next element until its parent encountered so i have a class with class t 
and its next all means next will print only the next element but next all will print all the elements until its parent is been encountered so this is basically the function of next all and now i'm going to implement your function as next until so next until you can specify here the conditions like you have specified in parent until so it's a case sensitive so next until I can specify here as next until is li li that is equals to 4 means up till 4 li it will be printing so if I'm going to refresh this next until li and eq and 4 next until is a class which i have given to this one and this is my function and t and it's li and uh, eq4 so let's refresh this it's not been printing so we can look into the issue by clicking on the inspect element and we can say here as uh, we can just find here as console we have an error in third dot html 53 number line so 53 number line is this one and i think there is a there is a bracket mistake we have been encountered uh, alert it's uh, we can write it again huh? so there is something sometimes a bracket mistake so we can just put here as dot p dot next until and then next until i can specify here the condition as li colon eq4 dot text and i can do now the alert one first we can just have its checking so there is not any error in this so we can do has do here as alert so next until so list up till list four is been printed so whichever uh, you you can give eq level over here like uh, you can specify the index over here up till that it will it is going to print so this you can adopt in your next until tag so moving to the next part then we have a three tags left with us one is the previous and two will be the previous all and previous until so winding up faster you can have here as previous so refreshing previous so right now uh, the t class has been implemented on third li and its previous li is list, list 2 so list 2 has been printed with the help of previous tag previous function so previous all in previous all it will be all li until its parent is being encountered because right now we have uh, the t class to this one so it have two previous tags until its parent has been encountered so that both are being printed and your last tells previous until so i can specify here it's a case sensitive function so you have to use previous e as small and u as capital so previous until you can specify here uh, it's alert so i have not changed the class name so previous until is a class which I have given to my button. So previous until dot uh, li up till eq0 will be printed. So here eq0 means eq0 will not be included up till eq0 means more than eq0 will be printed. So this was all about your uh, traversing in jQuery. You can implement all these function in your jQuery projects as well as you can understand it with the help of examples. So if you like my video, just subscribe to my channel and do share and like my video. Thanks for watching.